We're standing outside the Boston Health Center, which along with all health centers on St. and Nevis, have been focused today on delivering the AstraZeneca vaccine to citizens and residents who want to take the first jab um, of the vaccine because today is very significant. It marks the last day in which a citizen or resident can take the vaccine and be able to get a second dose before the current batch runs out. Now, this is a situation um, in which authorities say they are now trying to obtain new vaccines. However, we all know that there is a shortage of vaccines on the world market. And we also know that um, the AstraZeneca vaccine, which is um, produced by the Serum Institute of India, is no longer um, being exported because um, that institution is now focused on the delicate and distressing situation of COVID-19 in India. But um, the, on Tuesday, the 1st of June, uh, the Medical Chief of Staff, Dr. Cameron Wilkinson, spoke about how important it was for citizens and residents to take that vaccine. I urge those who have not yet been vaccinated to go forward tomorrow and the days after to do so. I, I urge those who have been shot more than four weeks ago to make sure that they follow up with their second dose to be fully vaccinated. The vaccine is a shot at protecting ourselves. In Brazil, deaths are plummeting because of vaccination. In the United States, deaths are down 99% because of vaccination. In the United States, the economy is projected to rebound as they have been experiencing record decrease in number of cases and deaths from COVID as their vaccination program. The vaccination program on St. and Nevis has been a major focus of the government of St. and Nevis as it makes an attempt to reopen the economy fully. And vaccination is the only way they say that the country can reopen and in which the, the majority of our citizens can remain safe. And so they're hoping that by getting the additional doses sometime soon, that they can achieve herd immunity and be able to make reality that economic growth that they are so hoping for. Glenn Barrett reporting for SK Newsline.